Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 488 and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar which is my channel. My name is Ajay Pramar and today I have brought a fantastic, fantastic VBA code for you which is going to help a lot of, lot of people who, especially those people who extensively work in Excel, right? So we are going to today learn how to sync the you know how to paste the actually the chart how to send the chart as an image in the outlook email body and the chart of your choice not any any chart right so we're going to talk about this and before i go further as you know that i have started uploading the videos in hindi also which is the indian language my my own language so please if you want if you're not comfortable in uh, you know in in english language please go ahead and watch the video number 487 on the same topic right so let's go and start this and just i want to take you know quickly 20 seconds if you are watching the channel for the first time i would like to tell you that these 488 videos are dedicated on excel excel vb access and access vb subjects very soon we are going to start the web designing as well these these are all the playlist sequence which i have created in front of you you can go and pause the video and you can note down all these playlists right because many times you keep on asking me that how to basically begin with you know if they want to learn excel or excel vb or access then how they can go and watch because there are so many videos so these are the playlist and this is the sequence you supposed to follow if you do not know what is a playlist guys playlist actually is is the 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 category is is the option uh, with all the youtubers and i have created all these playlists Play, playlist is nothing it's just a kind of a category where i have uploaded the you know the different different case studies on the same subject so one of the you know my playlist is excel vba connecting outlook from excel and you can see we have already got 41 amazing videos here right on the outlook part right so this is going to be the video number 42 and i'm going to talk about this right away so what we actually have to do now i got this idea from one of my subscribers as usual you know you made this channel so awesome because your questions are so fantastic right so shivani actually uh posted this comment three days back hi ajay thanks for sharing could you please tell us if we want to insert image in outlook through excel how we will do that right so she actually i think was watching this video video number 252 where we learned how to paste the excel range in the outlook email body but in this video i'm going to talk about the chart how to paste the chart in the outlook body and this is a chart i have created in front of you right so this is a chart and this is the chart we need to actually paste in the outlook body so how to do this right so guys um we basically need to you know follow these four steps right i'll give you the idea about this because i really don't want to uh, start this uh, writing the code you know uh, and and explaining you nothing so first i would uh, give you the idea let's make the you know as usual like we like to make the roadmap of this of this great challenge um, so as you know obviously we have to work with the outlook because in the outlook uh, that you know the chart is needs to needs to be pasted right as an image uh, so we have to tell the excel vba that look we are going to you know uh, we, we're going to connect with the outlook object and uh, this you can tell the outlook uh, the, you can tell the excel vba by going by going to the tool reference and by activating the you know that outlook library i'll tell you that in just a moment once we once vba knows that my user actually has created the Outlook object, right? And he, wa he wants or she wants to work with the Outlook. Then we are going to use the one of the classes which is present in the Outlook library called the mail item. Okay. Now, what is a mail item? Now, mail item actually is a class which we use to send the emails. If you are following my channel and if you are not new to the channel, then and if you would have watched maybe 20-30 percent of those videos on the Outlook which I was showing you, then you know that basically mail item is a class which is uh, we used to whenever we deal with the emails and of course in this uh, you know in this example we we certainly want to uh, write an email right so we want to deal with the email now when you want to deal with the email you're going to use the mail item class right so uh, it's like you know when you use the chart you you write the chart class when you when you work with the pivots you define the pivot class when you work with the worksheets you define the worksheet class and then so on you know workbook class so every object has its own class so uh, mail item is one of those classes right in just in, in case if you do not know about it once we know that the outlook is created and this is my mail right then we are going to actually define the chart so we will say that this is my chart and the chart name is chart one you can see it. this is a chart one right and that well then you can have the more charts you know you can have uh, it, it 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 is not just the one chart maybe you can have more charts so let me just insert maybe one more chart in your case it might be five charts so i'll not give you the time you know the option actually 
to to come back and say that you haven't discussed that thing right so please upload the video on that so let's cover that as well so let's say because she actually just talked about the one chart i guess but let's say you have four charts in this sheet but you want a specific chart to to go in the email you know now for example this is now my this is my chart which has a name called chart 3 i don't want that chart 3 to be pasted in the outlook i want chart 1 right so how to deal with that so we're going to actually define the chart i'm going to make sure that my vba knows that look i'm dealing with the chart 1 and the chart 1 actually is in the sheet 9 right i haven't given any name right and then once the chart is defined, we are going to export it as an image. So there is a code called chart.export and the chart will be exported in your D drive or wherever. I mean, you want to export it, right? So finally, once the chart is you know, going to be exported there, guys, we're going to use the HTML code. It's, it's just a one line code. We are going to use it. I used it in my previous videos also. If you would have seen those uh, videos, how to paste uh, uh, an image as a snapshot, right? So this is something you can do, right? So now, let us talk about this and very soon guys I'm also going to start the HTML right uh, we are going to also learn the web designing right so that you can also be a perfect person a perfect coder when it comes to the web scrapping because in Excel VBA uh, you, there is a topic called web scrapping where you can fully exploit the HTML pages right you can export, import the data from the HTML pages in the Excel right so we will talk about that but we will before we do that we will also learn the HTML right okay so now let's go and write the codes the first thing remember uh, we want to create the outlook object right so we go to the developer tab and i just hit on the visual basic and i'm going to insert a module right so the first thing which i will do is i'm just going to write here a macro let's say send image let's say that's my macro name now i go to the tool and the reference and i make sure that my microsoft outlook library should be activated which is microsoft outlook 16.0 right now in your case it it could be a different office right if you because i have installed office 2016 and if you have installed office 2013 you won't see the 16.0 you would see the 15.0 and if you would have installed excel 2010 then you would see the 14.0 right 13.0 will not be available because 13 microsoft thinks that it's an unlucky number so uh, anyways we don't have want to you know find out the number we just need to actually activate this library so this is coming here but in your case this is not going to come here on the top right this is these all libraries are alphabetically sorted so just press m and go to the microsoft you know outlook so microsoft outlook would be somewhere here so here you know that library is going to come and you just need to make sure that it should be check marked and the, once you make it check marked then press ok and once you press ok make sure you come back and see that whether it is activated or not right so once you come back you see that this is microsoft 16.0 activated so and remember guys if, if you're going to send this code to somebody who is using the lower version please tell that person that they should activate their own outlook library because 16.0 is going to show missing there so they have to before they're on the tool they have to go to the tool reference and they have to make sure that the, this microsoft outlook 16.0 is going to show there as missing missing is a word which would be prefixed before this they just need to uncheck that and they need to activate their own library that's it outlook library right now if you're going to ask me that you know is there any other solution well it, this is all called the early binding and the late binding which i will not talk about this uh, you can go and search my video uh, under the excel VBA access interview questions that what is the late binding and early binding difference between early binding and late binding you can also learn that technique right so right now let's go and start the topics the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm simply going to create my outlook application and I'm going to define this as dim o as outlook application then set o equals to new outlook dot application now o is what o is guys basically an object which i have defined right now you can write anything right you can write your name also you can write xyz whatever you want to write right but i'm just going to write here o because o uh, is uh, it's basically i mean you know i think i can read it right it, it makes more sense to me or maybe you can write o l o k you know whatever you want you think that that that's going to make this code more understandable now once the outlook object is created or when the vba is going to run these two lines the outlook object will be created now once the object is created i can deal with it you know it's like you know in a in a, in a group of five people you want to meet uh, a person uh, whose name is a right but in that group the, in, there's no one you know by that name so how, how how you can actually talk to that person how you can go and you know say that uh, i want to talk to a person right a person is not there right so you have to first have that person with that name right so in the same way we are trying to communicate with the outlook but then you have to create an object with that right so this is what we have we are doing these these two lines basically are going to do this sort of stuff okay so once 
uh, this is outlook is created we are going to create our own mail um, again going to write own mail this is my choice you can write whatever you want and just define it as mail item mail item as i said that this is the outlook class so this is how we write oh look which is your outlook now create item which item you want to create ol mail item right because i want to deal with the own mail item now so far guys your outlook part is done for the time being now we will have to go back and we will have to define our chart okay so to define the chart what we are supposed to do is i will first declare my a variable called wss worksheet because i want to make sure that which worksheet i'm talking about so right there set ws equals to this workbook dot sheets and then you write the name of the sheet so my sheet name is sheet 9 as you know right on the sheet 9 make sure you write the your sheet name don't write anything else right so this ws is going to be considered as sheet 9 so if i write ws dot select you see what happens i see that this ws dot is working though ws you know it's not actually a vp object isn't it but once you said that ws is going to be a worksheet you will have all the properties and the message you know uh, coming in this uh, ws object so i can select the worksheet as well though it is not required right so now what we want to do is we want to actually basically uh, run the loop and we want to see that how many charts we have got in and out of those charts you know which chart actually has a name called chart 1 So guys, we are going to use here called the collection loop. So you're going to use the collection loop. Now, what is a collection loop? For the collection loop, I have already uploaded many videos. You can go to this Excel VBA collection loops and you can learn it from there. If you're a beginner, I would strongly recommend you to watch first introduction and loops, right? But if you have the idea about the loops introduction, you can watch this collection loop. Collection loop is a beautiful loop. It's a very powerful loop. Every programmer needs to know that. Collection loop is basically, you know, it gives us the uh, opportunity to go to go to every object one by one, which belongs to the same you know the family for example if i have to work on the pivots then i can write for each pivot in pivots if i if i have to work with the multiple worksheets i can write for each worksheet in worksheets for each workbook in workbooks for each you know file in folder dot files similarly we have a loop called for each chart in chart objects that's going to work like this you're going to write here dim ch as chart object and then you write here for each chart in my sheet which is ws dot you're going to write here chart object next chart next chart so what happens this loop will take care of every chart automatically you don't have to worry about it because we are using for each word right so now we write here that if the chart name is going to be equals to chart 1 if is a case sensitive my friend so please make sure you do not do this mistake otherwise you will waste your lot of time ending up knowing nothing because this is my own personal experience when i was learning vba right i spent hours on that that why it is not capturing and then i just got to know that this is case sensitive <laughs> right otherwise vba is pretty good right you know that there is no case sensitive uh, thing in the vba but in the if function it is and i really wonder that why it is not in the access vba because in access vba if works you know in any case right upper case lower case anyways so this is what we are going to do uh, i'm going to select that chart uh, if if that is a chart one we will select that chart and then we will write here active chart dot export where you want to export i'm going to export it as a jpng okay i'm going to define this as as extension called png which is the extension of an image and if let's say if that is not the chart one then well then we don't want to do anything just write else and if right so so far this is the code guys so let us go ahead and run this code first of all and see if it is working or not so i'm going to run this there we go outlook object is it's taking a little time as you can see here it's going to create the outlook object it is created let's go and run this and now you see what is the chart name it's chart 1 so it should select the chart you see the moment i run this line this chart should be selected right now my cursor is here the moment i do that you see that the cursor immediately my cell jumps you know from that blank cell to this chart and the chart is selected you can see these you know the bottom the extreme corners of this fantastic right the chart is selected and now it should export i think it is exported what is the next chart so next chart is chart 3 which will go in the else mode because i don't want to export this and the code is going to finish so guys the first part is done so let's go quickly and see that so you can see here ajay.png image is already there with that chart fantastic now once we have done that we will simply go here and i'm going to write here a couple of lines for example you know what is your email right so your email actually is let me just uh, 
just remove uh, give some backspace so that you can see the entire code so your basically your yeah, email is omail so you're gonna write here with omail and you just write here end with this is how you can define this right so you write here that you want to send this email to whom so I just go and write some name let's say a at the rate outlook.com well I'm not here to talk about all these things uh, that what I'm writing CC and all that stuff you can see my all those previous videos uh, my main actually you know uh, the motive behind this video is to tell about that how to send the image so this is just omail.2.cc these are the properties uh, basically uh, it's a property or a method it's I think uh, yeah it's a property so this is just going to put those names and in the two and the CC and then you're gonna write the subject as well so I write the subject so let's say I just write the subject called hi now finally when when we want to insert the image this is what you need to write and this is what you need to understand guys HTML body HTML body is going to be equals to what I'm gonna write here that hi and then comma and then we want to go in the next line so to go to the next line you're going to use the br br is called the break and this is the html code right so break inserts a new line and then we are going to join this with what we are going to join this or uh, anything you can write that let's, let's say we, we're going to write here please find below the data right and then and again join it with one more break we want to insert one more break and then I'm gonna again join it with the image now where is your image now guys this is what you need to write IMG image source SRC equals to single quotes and write that path okay so D drive colon and the path is going to be ajay.png and then single quotes and then make sure you close the tag and you put it double quotes here and here now this is actually the HTML code now whenever you see any website you see their images there right different different kinds of images the pictures so basically that's the sort of code you know which we use in that right so you don't have to really worry about this this is just a simple line learn as it is okay and then we will insert one more line so I'm gonna insert one more line BR and uh, I write here break and then in the next line let's say we write here regards okay regards and then add and one more break line make sure you write these break quotes in the double quotes okay and then finally I'm gonna write here let's say team okay team let's say team 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 MS all right fine right now if you press outside this and if the line doesn't show any error that I mean then that means everything is good for example if I just remove this and and I click outside you see that's how it, it's going to behave right so that that means either you're not writing the syntax properly or there's some and you know which you have missed so I'm just gonna put that and back here and I click outside and this is now working so I want to use the omail dot display you can use the send as well if you want to send this email omail dot send but I want to show you this so let's go and run this code right away and let's see that okay so there we go so I hit on this F5 and let's see if the mail is going to be drafted and there we go there we go okay and finally guys in front of you fantastic right this is amazing so we have got the email we have got the image and we have got everything right so thank you so much Shivani for this wonderful question and I hope this is going to benefit my all dear subscribers and also all those people who are watching this video right away right so guys as I always say that next time I'll meet and I'll try to upload something more exciting right because I really want that you should all be you know pretty awesome in Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA so please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the like and I'll wait for your comment I'll see you soon stay fit stay happy and have a fantastic learning bye bye